Welcome back to Deus Ex Invisible War. We've moved on from level 1 to level 2 of Mako Ballistics Incorporated. Level 2 is the bio lab, and we're looking for information on Dr. Is it Nasir or Nasif? Nasif. Dr. Nasif said to carry on like normal and wait for an extraction. I heard you talking about Dr. Nasif. This is a private laboratory. Stake your business. I'm interested in contacting her. I was told that I could find her here. There's a cat back there! You were mistaken. Are they testing on cats? I'm from the Tarsus program. Dr. Nasif would want me to be taken back into custody. Tarsus? Oh well. We don't know anything about the trials. Don't tell me there's been an escape. I warned Dr. Nasif. I said that if she wasn't careful, they'd end up with a J.C. Denton on their hands. I guess you're here to wipe us out. Like J.C. Denton wiped out the people who ran his trials. Well, we aren't as diabolical as MJ-12 was. I hope you aren't planning to trigger another collapse. I guess it depends. Is there a connection? I mean, between the Tarsus experiments and the initial Biomod research? Not that I know of, but Dr. Nasif did give me a strange reply when I mentioned the Dentons. How so? She said that in the life sciences, one should never be surprised when the snake swallows its own tail. Just like her to flaunt her position. A pretty cryptic comment. Enough talk. You've put us in danger by coming here. Sorry, just trying not to get left behind. Talk to the Chicago project director. He's on the other side of the biolab. I'm pretty sure he ran the trials, but he doesn't tell us much. We interrogated one of Captain Lamar's people. She said that the scientists in this laboratory are the ones who smuggled Dr. Nassif and her colleagues out of the city. See if you can find a clue to Dr. Nassif's whereabouts in the lab director's office. There's something very creepy about these two Pay people. Pay more attention to where you're going. They literally look exactly the same as each other. They're wearing the exact same clothes, the same shoes, same color shoes. You bumped me! Back off! Everyone is so offended when you just get even near their personal space. Which, I mean, I guess fair enough. No one likes to have somebody get in their personal space. But anyway, yeah, they're exact clones of each other in every way. They're even both bald. They're wearing the exact same things. They even have the same necklace thingies or ID cards, Come I guess. On. I don't need this today. The only difference is their skin color. That's it. It's creepy. What? Wait. Do they hate me because I've killed their other people on different levels than this one? And they just kind of, you know, they have that ambient guard hate? Or is it just because I picked up a trash can and they thought I was going to throw it at somebody? Let's try that again. Hey, now. Man! We've got trouble. Let's Don't earn ourselves a bonus. Okay, trash can had nothing to do with it. SSC means business, loser. Acid. Oh, the little bot blowing up. Or actually, hmm, the little bot blowing up might have killed them, or it might have been some of my rounds went a little bit inaccurate and hit them instead of the bot. Drone construct host initiating breakdown. Absorbing. Breakdown complete. Yes, there is danger. I don't know why I just picked that up. Let's immediately drop that. I want to see if I can break this cat out. This doesn't look breakable, though. Nah, I don't think it's gonna happen. Nope. I'm sorry, kitty cat, I tried. Not gonna allow them to do science in here, no beakers allowed. 
silent beaker explosions. It looks like the phrenology team is going to make their deadline after all. Get in touch with me so we can plan the next phase. Did I see a ghost? Someone not of our kind has among us. Oh. Okay, just uh, just an alien. Key code required. Can't hack it. Fair enough. Oh wait. Is this to open it? That's to open it. I don't think I want to do that just yet. Let's gather some more information before we just let the alien out. It's a Looks medbot. Like it's gone, whatever it was. Hey, buddy. That's enough. I'm leaving. It's too dangerous. Look. Trouble. Ah! Ah! Settling tissues. <laughs> Finished repairing damage. It. <laughs> I'm hurt pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can make it. Oh, I'm hurt pretty bad. Falls over. Can't talk now. We're seeing some aberrant behaviors in the target locking mechanism in Project Serpentine. It looks like there might be something off with the halonics. Take a look and let me know what you find. Operation Normal. Joanne's Book of Military Transgenics. The Ruck. One of the latest developments in military transgenic application, the RUC has shown great promise in experimental implementation and military testing. The original head of the program attempted to use orangutans as the base unit, but results from the passive ape were disastrous. A new staff of researchers applied a biomodified strain of uh, Papio ursinus, or baboon. The beast has shown tremendous utility as a military unit. It responds well to brutal leadership, works well on a back, and is a vicious combatant. The Ruck is about 80 kilograms unequipped and is usually armed with a set of varied proximines. The unit can maneuver in almost total darkness and is equipped to be undetectable to most sensors and listening devices. Its decision-making ability is weaker than most field-grade grade AIs, but the affordability of the unit offsets its weakness. Commanders of units to be deployed with Rucks are encouraged to issue bolt casters to all personnel. Tranquilizing is often needed prior to transport, and there is a slim chance that the unit could become hostile to allied troops. Is that something we're going to have to face at some point? I guess I might as well just shoot this, huh? Glass destabilizer. Cloud of glass dust. Confirming my departure. No contact from Cairo yet. I don't know what we'll do if headquarters gets hit as well. More after I arrive in Egypt. So Apostle Corps has some sort of home base in Cairo. I guess we know where you're going to find your next target. Your pilot will be waiting for you on the roof. Gas release panel. Doesn't seem to do anything? Huh. Oh. Oh. It triggers if I hit that. Gotcha. Maybe let's not go that way. Anything else to see here? Okay. <gasps> Is that a biomod? Oh, that just leads up to the way we just looked at before. Two multi tools. I can't really tell. But... Yeah, let's do it. It's a normal biomod canister. I can't take any more. Medical equipment on board. Fragile. Is 
Stan's office. While the project director is at the other location, here's the code to his office so you can access the subject dossiers. Wait, subject dossiers. I don't remember seeing subject dossiers. Did I miss their office? Okay, looks like I didn't miss the office. It's the one that we just saw that message about Dr. Nassif in. So before we leave to the roof to go to Cairo, I think, I think we need to let out a certain little alien. Hey! Closer to home now. Much closer. Oh no. Oh. Hmm. I'm leaving. Uh. Good luck. They just died. <laughs> they just died just by being in proximity to the alien. Well, at least the alien appreciates that I help them out and they're not hurting me. Uh, save the, the cat and the rat, okay? Thanks. We've got resistance on the way out. <laughs> Damn! This is how it's... This can't be happening! Sorry, I was just staring at the... I know I got shot, like, really in a silly way, and I could have easily avoided it, but I was just mesmerized by the fact that I stopped them mid-throw of an EMP grenade, and the EMP grenade was just kind of like floating in the air like it hadn't been thrown yet. It was really odd. Drone construct initiating breakdown. Nom nom Most nom nom nom. God such breakdown a complete. Like look at look at all that blood mist. Ugh. It's amazing, isn't it? Well this seems to be the roof. I mean this is where I came in. But there's nobody here? Maybe I gotta go this way? I never went this way. This is where I started. I ended up going that way. That took me to the, uh, like... Maintenance person that I spoke with? So I don't actually know what's this way. Oh. This goes to the uh, similar place. Oh, I see the helicopter up there. So how do I get there? I would think from me. Oh Christ! Watch out! There's a grenade in midair again. I'm hurt pretty bad. Get me out of here! <laughs> Doctor Patton, please report to the ballistics lab. Doctor Patton, please report to the ballistics lab. Who just said that? Cargo bay O2. Oh, I probably gotta go that way. Yeah, there's actually a lot I haven't explored. Outside of the main building. Oh, I remember seeing this from the other side. I couldn't open it because the crate was in the way. Ooh. Might as well turn off the security real quick. Security camera off, and that's it. Oh yeah, roof access this way as well. Huh? Gonna put a stop to this. You're going down. Just save yourself. Just save yourself. This has got to stop. Here we go. Oh Christ. Oh whoa. Not a good place to fight them from. Get a clear shot. Drone construct hosts initiating breakdown. Absorbing. Breakdown complete. Hmm. Doesn't look worth it. I lost the target. Just a random ATM. Why is there an ATM here? Why is there an ATM there? That doesn't make any sense. Two multi-tools. 
There's gotta be something good in there. Oh no, it just goes to the interior. So it's just an alternative way inside if I didn't have the passcode to the front door. Well, that was a waste. So that's just going to release gas if I trigger this. Hello? I might as well just trigger this with something then and... I think something's going on here. Oh. Oh god, I'm hit! Oh. Yeah, that works. I'll take it. Uh, question I have is, is it spent or is it going to release more gas? Eh, I'll just go for it. Oh, it releases more. Oof. Okay, I won't cheap out on the multi-tool then. Grenade. Oh, I've already got ten. Yeah, I don't need another stack of those. Thanks for sticking around. What are the chances that you could take me to Cairo? Is that what you do? Go from city to city looking for one person? It's an unusual assignment, but I'm committed to carrying it out. Let's go. I'm convinced they are totally a robot. Alright, I'm ready. I was unable to locate Cairo International Airport. This small landing pad was the closest I could come to the city center. Why did you expect to find an international airport? According to my map, there should be an airport 22 kilometers northeast of central Cairo. Instead, that seems to be the site of a landfill. There hasn't been commercial air travel since the collapse, 20 years ago. Perhaps my navigation database is out of date. I'm talking about the collapse, the biggest depression in world history? I guess you don't follow current events. Of course I know about the collapse. If I fail to find the passenger I'm looking for, I'll be available to take you to another destination. If so, we'll leave from this landing pad. Okay, I have some questions. First, this is actually turning into a kind of interesting storyline. I thought it was just completely terrible writing, and don't get me wrong, this game is horribly written and voice acted. It looks like they were actually intending Ava Johnson to be... A, it seems like an AI or, or somebody who's just come out of like a cryogenic freeze or something, because they're relying on maps that were pre-collapse. So there's something interesting actually going on here, but there's still some inconsistencies. Some huge inconsistencies. If they're an AI, which seems likely at this point, it explains but doesn't explain some things. It explains why I was able to magically teleport them into the helicopter, right? I activated the beacon and then they were just like there and ready to take me somewhere when they said that they were in jail. And I was talking about how that doesn't make any sense. They're in jail. I didn't break them out of jail. I just activated a pilot beacon, whatever that does. So maybe it did literally teleport them inside of it because they're literally in artificial intelligence. That would explain some things, but it wouldn't explain how I overheard people talking about how there was this suspicious helicopter flying around and they thought they were scoping out the place. So they apprehended the helicopter and took the person, Ava Johnson, into custody. That you can't if it's, if it's an AI AI you can't just take it into custody and put it in a jail cell. That doesn't make any sense. So what they said made it sound like they're an actual person. The teleport makes it seem like they're an AI. The way they're talking makes it seem like they're an AI. So I don't know what's going on. Something's very inconsistent here, and it's because of the game's writing. <laughs> but also there's something inconsistent going on with just their behavior because of something that is intentionally written into the game too.
Okay. I think I might have accidentally clicked on the, the bounding box for the helicopter. It's quite large. So I guess you've gone rogue on us. Mm -hmm. It's not too late to show some loyalty to the WTO. We want you to destroy the Nasif family's greenhouse, which is in the northwest corner of the South Medina. The experimental greenhouse, a violation of WTO regulations, should lead us to Dr. Nasif. That's no way to live. Nope. This place is so big and empty and dull and brown and lifeless. Aside from these awkward plants. Just taking a break. Well, someone new in the Medina. Don't worry about catching the plague at my little coffee stand. We are a high priority zone for the bots, and we sterilize our equipment with infrasound. That's good to hear. People come to the old city to find the black market. Is that why you risk getting infected? Security must be pretty non-existent around here. Is there a lot of crime? Not my concern. There is always strife. I ask because I can make a deal for someone who could get into the new Cairo Arcology and do Queequegs a favor. I'm listening. The regional director has been disappointed in my profits since the intensification of Nanite Swell 11. I lose the shop if I can't find a way to impress him. What am I supposed to do? NG Residence is playing a concert in the Arcology tomorrow. I need someone to convince her to endorse Queequegs. From what I hear, her manager, Miss Withers, can easily be bribed. Try to catch her waiting for NG and offer her some money. If she accepts, I will compensate you with a choice of several weapon mods, which I found on a dead Omar. Miss Withers, huh? I'll let you know if I run into her. Everyone is just so open about their, their crimes, their bribes, their people they want assassinated. Like, you really should keep some things to yourself until you really know somebody. I'm literally a complete stranger to them. I could just be an undercover cop or something. Also, they were talking as if we've already established that, oh yeah, in Cairo, there's a plague. What plague? I This is the first time I've ever heard anything about it. I guess that's why this person's wearing a mask, a precaution? And they said that this place is given priority by the cleaning bots, so I guess certain places are more susceptible to the plague than others? Or I shouldn't say susceptible, but more... I'm not really sure what the right word would be, actually. I haven't seen you before. Welcome to our small Medina. Hi, name's Alex. Pardon the simplicity of this drawing, but I like to give newcomers a map so they can find their way around. The local business owners are always complaining that they don't get enough foot traffic. Thanks, that's very thoughtful. The year is 3000. Google Maps does not exist. Instead, I get a Literally a map written on a napkin. This is the worst future. Okay, so what do we have? Order recruitment area, a mosque, landing pad, entrance to greenhouse, arcology, quick quags, coffee. That's where I am. And old Cairo apartments. Greenhouse, arcology. Apartments, mosque, hidden things? Ooh. Mm, credits, biocell, flare? For two multi tools? Doesn't seem worth it. So, do I have my quest explicitly from. Um, the order? I don't. I have one from WTO, but not from the order. I forgot exactly what I'm supposed to do with the order. I'm looking for more information on Dr. Nassif, so I guess I actually might want to go to the greenhouse. Hmm. And I love that it's like an ongoing quest line, the Coffee Wars. Bribe NG's manager. <laughs> it just keeps going on and on. Seeker, your next objective is to help us find Dr. Nassif. She comes from a poor family in this plague-stricken village. 
Billy Adams will be coordinating the investigation from the mosque that lies between the Arcology and the village. Report to her at once. Ah, there we go. Let's go ahead and spend my biomod on getting level 2 strength. Now, when I got the first level, I was thinking it would increase my, my inventory slots, and it didn't look like it did. But I searched online. I searched for a Deus Ex Invisible War, how to increase inventory space, and I just found some like random little thread. And someone said that if you get this, it does actually increase your inventory slots. So, let's just actually make sure. Let's actually save beforehand. How many slots do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six here and six quick slots. Six, six. Is this actually gonna go up? What does the next level do, by the way? Just more of the same? Um, yep. More throwing distance. Pick up bigger things. Stuff like that. Ah! So it gives you one more slot. That's terrible. That is god awful. They really want you to have a super limited inventory, don't they? I wonder what I can pick up now. Can I pick up this pillar? Yeah. What the heck is this? I mean, I guess it's a gate, but like, the bars are so big, you could literally just slip sideways through that. Also, why is it doing this? I'm only pressing the forwards button, and it's doing this. What? Let's take a different pathway. Oh, wait. No, that is the pathway to the mosque. How are you? Hey. Uh... Hmm. Well, that's a problem. There must be another way. Let's look at that map. According to this, there's only the one pathway through to the mosque. Huh. Maybe there's like an underground tunnel or something. Well, I think I'll figure it out in the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we'll explore more of Cairo.